Willie Mo Jr. here. Bro, we gonna have to get our bread up. Meaning we gonna have to get some money. And let me tell you why. Now before I tell you why, let me tell you something. Make sure that you subscribe, leave a comment, and if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you share this with as many people as possible, you know? Flat out. This how it came up. So yesterday I was on the number one radio show in America. The Willie Mo Jr. show. Flat out. And I asked the people of God, I said, people of God, if your bank account could call you right now and have a conversation, what will it say? I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm thinking to myself, Christian people always like to talk about the victory. Speak those things that are not as though they were. But when it came to that bank account, bro, people was keeping it 100. Flat out. All I heard for one whole hour was, my bank account would say money, think I'm dead. My bank account would say, deep, 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 deep. My bank account would say, why? Why? I mean, everybody was playing up broke. Bro, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. How you gonna stay broke in the kingdom of God? Now, we all know salvation is free, but that ministry that God put on the inside of you cost. Don't get me wrong, I done went through foreclosure, I done gave back cars, and I done seen that negative in the account. But if your relationship with money continues to have an issue after issue after issue, boom, issue. It's you. And let me tell you why. I was in my favorite book the other day. The Bible. And my favorite book says, God gives seed to the sower. Most of the time, the people who always have financial issues are the people who ain't giving nothing. They don't tithe. They don't sow. Every dime that they get, they keep it for themselves. And I'm not just getting on you. I've been selfish a time or two in my life. I was the only child. I ain't never had to share with nobody but my imaginary friend. Guess what my imaginary friend do when I get him some? He give back. Flood up. But once I read that God gives seed to the sower, I realized that there was a principle in sowing and reaping. Now look, I ain't trying to force tithing on you, but I will tell you this. When I was broke, I'm talking about I didn't have a dime to my name, boy. The moment that I got some money, bro, I decided to start tithing. Because all my life, I always would just put that strong $20 in the plate. I don't care how good or bad the service is, you getting a strong 20 from me, flat out. But the moment I started tithing and I made that a habit, God made me a better giver to my friends, a better giver to my family. And the moment that I kept giving and giving, he kept giving and giving as well. And I decided after years and years of tithing that I was never going to be broke another day in my life. Creating a financial habit gave me more creativity on how to make more money. Your problem with finances may not be the fact that you ain't making enough, but it may be that you're not giving nothing. So what I challenge you to do is start giving. Because if it don't meet your need, it's your seed. And then start making declarations on why you cannot be broke. I did it. Got me a little pen, little piece of paper, and just wrote out me a list. I can't be broke because my family family is depending on me. I can't be broke because my ministry is depending on me. I can't be broke because 114,000 kids across the country need to have foster homes. I can't be broke because if one of my family members catch cancer and they family cannot work, I need to be able to take care of them. In Jesus name. You better start making the list, writing the vision and making it plain because broke ain't for you. It's just a condition that you've chosen to accept. Remember, God gives seed to the sower, not the hoarder, not the holder, but the giver. Hey family, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Share this with as many people as possible, especially if you're on Facebook. Click the share, share, share. We want good news to go out across the country. Do me a favor, I really need your help. Make sure that you pick up my new book, Happily After All book, how to keep your relationship going when you're tired of trying. I know a lot of people are going through it in their families. Follow me on Instagram at Willie Moore Jr. Live. Make sure that you check the calendar to see what city we're coming to next. And uh, make sure you tune into the radio show, Willie Moe Jr. Live. Download my app, the Willie Moe Jr. Show. Listen to your boy on radio. Flood up.